We're on track to do about six to seven million this year from the agency. So I'm more qualified than 99% of these other SMMA gurus to actually talk to you about this. So what I recommend you do, ping me on 2x speed here on YouTube. It will literally take you seven minutes to watch this whole video in full. And look, I could charge you easy over 10K for the value that's included in this video today and you would still get an ROI from it. So if you can't dedicate just a few minutes to watch this in full, then you're doomed anyway and might as well click off now. I want the people that watch my videos to be an audience of absolute killers when it comes to running their agencies. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we print $6,000 payments on autopilot from our SMMA clients. And I'm gonna give you the exact formula so you can go and implement it too. So I'm still out here in Japan, you probably can't see too well, but I'm honestly feeling so, so inspired at the minute, so I wanted to drop a banger for you. So if you want your Stripe account looking a bit like this, then I recommend you pay attention. Now, these results are all due to a change in how we priced and frame the price in the pitch. So let me run through with you the old way, okay? This is how we used to price and frame our offer. So we used to charge a minimum of 1,500 pounds a month, and then based on the level of ad spend that the client had, we would increase our price in tiers based on that. So if they spent you know, under 10 grand a month, it'd be 1,500 quid. If they spent over 10 grand a month, the price would go up and on from there. Now, what we used to do as well, we used to charge upfront for one month at a time. So when we'd get to the pitch, we would just say, um, and that's 1,500 pound a month. And if you wanna get started, you can pay here. So they'd, they'd set up the payment on an auto bill recurring cycle, but the payment we would receive day one was for one month, which was usually 1,500 pound. We would also have a rolling monthly contract. And the reason for this was just to make us essentially more competitive um, and you know compete with our fellow agency owners and freelancers. We thought by having a monthly contract would make ourselves more desirable, so we, so we had that. And look, don't get me wrong, everything I'm saying here absolutely works, and it worked to get us to you know well over seven figures with our agency, but I felt like something was missing, okay? I felt like we could do it better, because what occasionally would happen is we would have churn within the first one or two months due to lack of immediate results, and I was left sort of scratching my head. So I set out to find a better way. And what I stumbled upon taught me one of the most impactful lessons over the last 12 months, which is that 90% of the success of a business is in how you frame the product, service, price, and offer. And obviously within reason, okay, I can already see the people in the comments, <laughs> but within reason, you can sell almost anything to anyone if you can find the right way in which to frame it. So now I'm just gonna dive straight into the secret source that has helped us increase our pay in full percentage from zero to 10% all the way up to a whopping 77% last month. So out of all the new clients and new payments received of new clients last month, 77% of them paid in full for three months upfront. This obviously also helped to reduce month one and two churn and made those 10,000 to 40,000 pound days a regular occurrence. But please note, this only works if you use a certain remorse remittance strategy which I'm gonna give you at the end of the video. So on the next slide, I'm actually gonna give you what I call the PIF framing formula. But in order to truly understand it, first of all, you must understand what's called anchoring, okay? Now, price anchoring is when you use a higher price as an anchor to make the actual price seem like a better deal. Easiest way to say this is if you walk through a supermarket and you say, you see it says RRP 99, today 49. The anchor is the 99 pound, okay? Um, and the way to look at this in terms of SMA is imagine I framed to you and I was pitching to you and I said, look, you can get all of this for 5,000 pound a month. Now, 5,000 pound a month is a lot of money to most people. You'd probably think that's fairly expensive. But if instead I framed it as, look, we usually charge 10,000 pound a month, but if you take action today, it's only 5,000 pound a month. Having that 10K as an, an anchor makes the 5,000 pound seems far more reasonable, far more affordable, okay? So even though it's the same price, you get a much better feeling and your prospects get a much better feeling on number two. So are we ready for it? Here is the PIF framing formula. Here's a real example of how you can pitch and frame this on the call, okay? So, hey Steve, so the monthly fee is 2,000 pound per month. This includes everything we've discussed today, including, then you could go through and list everything that you include as part of your service. However, if you pay in full today, which most of our customers do, it's only 4,800 pound. And I tell you what, we don't usually do this, but if you sign up with the pay in full today, or also throw in a completely free Google Ads consultation from our PPC team. How does that sound, okay? Now, I'm gonna break this down so you can actually truly understand it, but the key thing here, first things first, is understanding that 2,000 pound a month. Now look, we don't actually charge 2,000 pound a month. Our, our fee was before 1,500 pound a month, but
But what we did is we positioned the £2,000 month there as that price anchor. So now when we position the pay in full, we can actually position this £4,800 as a whopping 20% discount just to pay in full. And it's actually still £300 more than the £4,500 we would have received over three months had a client paid on day one, day 30, day 60. Okay, So it's a really interesting way. And what we found is that thing in itself skyrocketed our pay in full percentage from zero up to almost 80% of clients now paying in full. And what's mad is we're actually receiving more cash in the bank day one than we would have actually received after three months working together on the old way in which we would actually pitch. Now look, not everyone goes down this route. Some people do still go ahead on the monthly. And even when that happens now, when they do go ahead on the monthly, they're actually ending up paying the £2,000 a month anyway. So our cash in bank day one was immediately better off. Now, what you can also do here, um, this isn't exactly how we pitch it, but I just wanted to throw this in as a bit, bit of a lesson for you. The, the best thing you can do to get people to take these offers, again, is think about the best way to frame it. So a discount is great. Framing it this way is great. But if you can give somebody another incentive and another reason to make it a no-brainer to sign up, that's only going to help. So here, you know, I've said... We'll throw in a Google Ads consult that's worth a grand, completely free of charge if you sign up today. There's a ton of other different things that you can do. Maybe you can throw in some free ad creatives. Maybe you can guarantee a same day campaign set up. But what I want you to understand is if you can give an additional benefit for also paying in full, the percentage of which of people do it are going to creep up. So all of this sounds stellar, right? All of this sounds absolutely great, right? It's time for you to become a Piff Master General, start getting all these pay and fulls. Just hold your horses there for a quick second. Because the one thing to consider here is that clients have just made a bigger investment with you, which does mean a higher chance of buyer's remorse, okay? So rather than paying you that £1,500, they've now parted with £4,800, which is a big investment. So for this PIF formula to actually truly work, you need to make sure you don't get refund requests. So here's a one slide quick fire way on how to avoid that. Okay, so how can you avoid buyer's remorse? So the first thing you need to do is make sure your time to value is as fast as humanly possible. Now, time to value is a metric that's different for, for different businesses, but ultimately the way you need to look at it is this, is how long does it take you to actually showcase real value to a client. Now, in most cases in the SMMA space, it's generating that you know initial result. It's setting up that first campaign and pushing that first campaign live. But ultimately, you need to make sure the time in which from when they pay to when they get that big hit of initial value from you is as short as possible. The closer you bring that window together, the more likely you are gonna have happy customers and way less chance of buyer's remorse, okay? The second thing you need to do is you want to make sure your onboarding process is flawless and amazing, okay? You know what it's like if you jump on the phone, you, you're angry, maybe you're going to want to change your phone contract, you're trying to cancel, you're trying to get through to somebody, you're annoyed on the phone. After 30 minutes of waiting, you then get past to the next person and the first thing they say on the phone is, okay, can you tell me about your problem? And what does that do? It makes your experience 10 times worse. So you want to make sure the handover process from sales to service delivery and customer success is absolutely flawless. You also want to make sure you set all proper expectations. You want to make sure the client feels completely looked after. You want to make sure that onboarding process is 10 out of 10. Again, I can make future videos on that, but if you have a bad and sloppy onboarding, it's, it's going to be basically impossible to, to avoid those refund requests, okay? You also want to make sure here that you over deliver at least 10 times as fast as humanly possible, okay? So again, similar to time to value, it's how many times can you over deliver in that first few days? Try and hit 10, okay? So day one, send some new copy over. Day two, go through their website, send them a bit of a CRO audit. Day three, three send them a 45 minute audit if you run in through their ad account, drop in tons of value. Day four, send over some ad creatives that they didn't even ask for, that they didn't even know were included. The quicker you can hit that 10 times of over delivery, again, in the shortest period possible, if you can do that in two, three, four, five, six days, if you can do that within a week, if you can do that within a few days to a week, again, you're gonna have way happier clients and you're gonna reinforce that they made the right decision in paying with full and deciding to work with you as an agency. And the final thing here is always be proactive, never reactive. Businesses are hiring you as an agency because you're an expert. If the client has to come to you and check in that you're actually turning off or killing ads or check in for an update on when the campaigns are going to be live, you're ultimately not doing your job. You need to make sure your clients at all times think that, hey, I'm so glad I hired Brad. He is just all over it. And the only way you get that is by always going to the client first, always messaging first. If results aren't happening straight away, which they don't always do for clients, make sure you're updating them first as to, hey, look, I know results aren't there, but here's what we're doing to change that. 
always be proactive, always open the conversation loop, close the conversation loop. If you take that proactive approach, you're gonna have far happier customers. And then look, here's a really easy way as well that you can use this strategy to make even more money after all is said and done after that first initial 90 day period. Use the same approach that we've just gone through, okay? Jump on a call with them, you know, pitch the painful discount, but try and get clients at this point now after the first 90 days into six to 12 month contracts. Again, you can frame the painful, especially if they're paying over a six month or 12 month period. You can make that pay in full number really, really decent. You know, then maybe they save 30, 35% if they pay in full for the year. Um, but a really good downsell here is, you know, because I know a lot of people are hesitant to work and lock in to agencies over longer time frames, And usually it's due to, to the amount of scammers and people in this space and the amount of bad agencies. But if you really performed in the first 90 days and have built that trust, then there's no reason that clients won't do this. So another really good downsell is, let's say they can't afford to pay in full for the six or 12 months. What you could always do is you could offer them on the discounted rate. So again, this could be equivalent to what they would have done if they paid in full, which would have been say, you know, if they're paying in full for three months for 4,800 pound, you know, that would have been 1,600 pound a month. So you could say, look, we can do this on the monthly fee of 1,600 pound a month. You can pay every single month. You don't need to pay in full, but just sign a 12 month contract. And again, if you do this, your LTV will absolutely skyrocket because if your average monthly fee is 1,600 pound, if the client stays for an extra 10 months, that's an extra 16,000 pounds in LTV, not even including the fact that you can upsell them onto additional platforms. They might scale ad spend. They might refer people. So it's so, so, so important that you do this. So if you need any support, just DM me over on Instagram at Bradley J. Riley. Uh, I actually show all behind the scenes of my life, running my 40 plus person team and my agency over there. Um, and also, if you have watched the end, drop a banana emoji in the comments down below so I can see who my serious agency owner viewers are who are taking this content serious. Peace out. See you in the next one.